Yeah. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to write another code which will find out say if I enter similarly if I enter say two or three it will give me the first two prime numbers. You know what are prime numbers, right? Yeah. Okay. You know when I used to write this Fibonacci series in my B tech in C mm -hmm. language. They used right. to see it in the very early stage, in the second or third class itself, the Fibonacci series printing used to come. It used to come yeah. in some different way with printf and scanf. Those were the commands, but even the code used to be something different. It used to be a long code with slash n karke. We used to store the terms in. Yeah, you, you, were, you were you were trying to print a triangle, right? So usually the way it's done in colleges, they, they arrange a number in a triangle. Okay. Oh. So I'll, I'll show you uh, how usually it's showcased in form of a triangle. That's okay. It. And so you, that's why you need a lot of uh, you know manipulation to print that triangle. So we have simplified it here. I was trying in that way only, but then I could not because I didn't remember it. No, that's fine because we are not not we are not there wherein we can print a triangle. So we are not at that level. I searched on net also, I was getting a lot of codes, but then I thought there's no sense point of copying it and telling you because I should be understanding the concept, how you're doing it. Right, right, yeah, yeah, so, so the way I, I will write here, so the way usually it, has, it is taught in colleges is one and then there will be a, you know, two here and then it will be something like this. I, I also don't remember, so it, it's arranged in form of a triangle. So, which yeah. will require some time to, uh, we're not at that point wherein we can print those triangles. So, we can, we'll handle that when we do. So, for now, it's, uh, we, are, we are at this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so anyway, uh, so one, since we have done with uh, Fibonacci series, so can you write a code in a similar way, which will tell mm -hmm. me the first n prime numbers. Take n as input. Okay, so if I input 3, the numbers, the output should be 1, 3 and 5 or 1, 2, 3. Because 2 is also a prime number. Okay, and input what I have to give us? Uh, sorry? How much, num how many numbers I have to give as input? Uh, so that should, that you take from the user. Na? So you uh, write a generalized code. Okay. So here okay. I am writing a general thing. You write a generalized code and uh, take the input from the user and print out that many prime numbers starting from oh. 1.
when you uh, if you get stuck somewhere so you can work out uh, together yeah i am just doing one thing as i have to change the numbers from one and uh one two No, um, I was just writing one. Okay. So I'm not getting it. Okay. Uh, so let I also don't don't have a ready answer. So let's just work, work it out. Can you ping me whatever uh, you have written? I I mean I have just given the range as input and then I can just put in the I. But then again, okay. how would I go on? Okay. Okay. Let's let's see. Let's see. Uh, Okay, so let's just, uh, so I'll just write it over the code that we had. You you have, uh, you are fine with this code, right? I can remove uh, this, the yeah. Fibonacci series. Okay. So, I have taken I the input. Like your, the, I cannot see your, that code in shell screen. Yeah, so I, uh, you can see it now? Yeah. Okay. So I have taken the input live as uh, similarly to the last one. So now what I need to do is, say if I, I need to print the last one, okay, the nth one. Okay. So let me do it this way. Okay. Uh, so what we can do is we can use a uh, do while loops. So, the, so if you think about it, what we are trying to do here is we are trying to figure out a number uh, which can be divided uh, by numbers varying from 2 till, uh, say, uh, 2 till the half of the number, right? Say, say if 7 is a prime number, how do you check mm -hmm. whether 7 is prime or not? So you start with 2, then you go till 7 by 2, which is nothing but 3, right? 7 by 2, yeah. if I round off, it will be 3. So you check whether two, say 7 can, if divided by 2, leaves a remainder. If yes, 
then we are, we are fine. If 7 divided by 3 has a reminder, if yes, then we are fine. And then that's why 7 is a, uh, you know, prime number. Now, if I talk about 8, you start with 2, okay? So, as soon as, uh, you know, 2 does not re leave a remainder, you can uh, be sure that uh, this is not a prime number, okay? So, what we okay. need to check here basically is whether it is a number can be divided uh, by, by numbers which with the range from 2 till half of the number okay 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 so now what we're going to do is so we'll have a uh, do do while uh, loop okay so let's start with this do uh, sorry. while you know uh, count is less than uh, input let me initiate count as zero yeah. so this will make sure we have exactly that many prime numbers now what so I'm going to do is I'll uh, which one count Huh? This. Yeah. Yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm initiating count count as zero because here if I do not initiate, what will happen is it will take any junk value. So it's better always to initiate a value that we use as a counter. Okay. okay. So this is a counter, right? So that's why that's why I'm initiating it. Now if count is less than uh, you know input then we will keep on uh, trying out numbers okay now what we need to do is again uh, while prime is equal to zero prime is equal to zero
So you have written previous underscore prime plus k, then parenthesis closed, then percentage i. Yes, so this gives me uh, the modulo, right? This gives me the remainder. Okay. So what I'm trying to check here is, so uh, I have, I am trying out numbers from 2 till the, uh, till a number divided by 2. Right? Okay. So that's why I had to write the range in this way. Okay. okay. So I am trying out all those numbers and seeing if the remainder is equal to 0 or not. Okay. Yeah. Now if the remainder is, uh, sorry, what I have to write is if the remainder is not equal to 0, then I need to write prime uh, equal to one. One second. Let me write the other way around equal to zero and then prime is equal to zero. And Now, if a number is any is divisible by anything, then the remainder will be zero, right? So, if the remainder is zero, I am creating a flag which will tell which will tell me that I have found at least one number for which, when I divide it, it the remainder is zero, right? This that means it's not a. This is quite complex code. Yeah. So the finding a prime number is a bit complex. So, uh, you know, do, do you want to, just, uh, you know, go back to something simpler? That's fine. Then we can anyway come back to this later. I am understanding it. Okay. Okay, so if I have this, then... Okay. 
I cannot see what you have written after if your cursor is there. Yeah. So, अभी तक तो एक भी नंबर प्रिंट ही कर रहे ना नहीं अभी तक तो हम बस फाइंड uh, कर रहे हैं कि प्राइम है कि नहीं ओके दिस कोड इज लुकिंग लाइक एज इफ कुछ बहुत बड़ा हो रहा है so what i have done done here is one is a exceptional number right because uh, one also goes uh, you know it's divisible by one and it it's also uh, divisible by itself so what i have done is i have uh, pre given a special print for one so if i if my input is to print only one uh, prime number then it will only print one and check nothing else now what i need to do okay. is i need to initiate my logic for the numbers which are more than 1 okay so for that what i am doing is
now what i am going to do is while you know uh, while i do not fry find a prime number so now while prime is uh, equal to zero or you know prime is greater than zero right Check from two to prime plus k. Good. 